Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, sponsor, will you yield to a question? Will the sponsor yield to a question, please? She will yield. For the people who are watching at home, for the folks who are in the gallery who do not have this uh, bill before them, my question is, is it fair to say that the language that will appear on the ballot simply states the question, do you want public tax dollars to go to private schools? Is that the essence of the question? Lady from Davis. Ma'am, you were not accurate in reading. It says, the question would be to give parents choices in educational opportunities for their children. Are you in favor of enabling legislation, in enabling the General Assembly to provide financial support? And then it goes on from there. That is the correct language that is in this bill for those that do not have access to the document that is in front of us and that is posted on the site. Lady from Jefferson. Thank you for restating that for the general public. The question, though, is, is the essence of this question that we would like, that we are asking the public if they would like public tax dollars to be able to be reallocated or transferred to private she schools? Your, she answered your question. Okay. So for folk, may I speak on the bill, please? Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. For the folks in the gallery, for the folks at home, this is the essence of the question. So if you are not interested in diverting public tax dollars away from our public schools, then you are a no on this. I wanna make sure that people feel empowered when they go to vote and that they understand some of the questions that we choose to put before them in what I believe is a convoluted way. I also want to state that this General Assembly continues to act like the bills that we are considering can be done responsibly in a silo, and that is not the case. Furthermore, it is insulting to the public and to Kentuckian families, hard-working Kentuckian families who depend on public education. It's insulting to them that we are trying to convince them that this is simply a bill that just puts a simple question on the ballot without assuming that there will be no negative repercussions, no unintended consequences, no doors that will be open for any other types of schools to be started in this state, to be funded for lack of accountability, for the myriad of things that many of my colleagues on this floor have tried to state. It's irresponsible. I don't know why we're doing this. And I hope that the voters are paying attention to who in this room has a sense of integrity and responsibility to the role that you were elected to play here. And I think it's really ironic and rich that we had a gallery full of students and we still have some on the floor and they have a front row seat to seeing this legislative body basically say, nah, we're good. We don't need to keep putting money into public education. We're totally fine redirecting that to a private school. We're giving them a first hand look at what really goes on here. This bill will not help Kentuckians, and it certainly won't help the Kentuckians that really need it. And for that, I will be a no.